It's a big week for agriculture, especially in Washington, D.C. Back together will be the leaders of a House and Senate Farm Bill Conference Committee. That conference committee is being led by the chairman of the Senate Ag Committee from Kansas, Pat Roberts. Now, alongside of Senator Roberts is the ranking member from Michigan, Debbie Stabenow. On the House side, negotiations being led by the chairman from Texas, Mike Conaway, and the ranking member, the Democrat from Minnesota, Colin Peterson. Now, the sticking point up to this point has been Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP payments, and not necessarily the payments, but tighter work requirements that the House has written into their version of the Farm Bill. Now, some sources inside say that the four are fairly close. Again, that sticking point being the Nutrition Assistance Program. Also on tap this week will be a Senate Ag Committee hearing on perspectives of U.S. ag trade. This comes at a time when U.S. agriculture is, well, is being hit hard by tariffs and retaliatory tariffs, especially from China in a trade war. So the guest as part of that Senate hearing will be Rob Johansson, Dr. Johansson's chief economist at USDA, and he'll definitely be questioned by senators regarding the market facilitation program, the MFP program, which rolled out last week and is set to help those producers affected by retaliatory tariffs. And one of the questions will be why large payments for soybean, sorghum, and cotton and only a penny per bushel for corn. Also testifying before the Senate Ag Committee will be Ted McKinney, Undersecretary for Trade at USDA and the Chief Ag Trade Negotiator for the U.S. Trade Representative's Office, Greg Dow. And also out next week, USDA's big September crop report as we'll see estimates of what USDA believes the U.S. crop looks like. We'll also see some ideas around the world as well as USDA releases their World Ag Supply Demand Estimates. And with another Ag News Update, I'm Tony St. James.